Hello and welcome to another one of our Ubiquiti unboxing videos. Today we're going to show you the Lightbeam and Nanobeam 5AC Gen 2s. First of all, we're going to start with the Lightbeam. First, let's have a look at the contents of the box. The usual quick start guide. The elements of the pole mount. Standard power cable with the PoE injector. The antenna feed. And of course, the antenna dish itself. The new version of the device has its design much improved. First of all, they have uh, changed the way it's assembled uh, in regards to the pole mounting. It's very precise and allows you to set it up at any angle you want. Very helpful is the level that you have here so we can know the device is set up straight. It can handle quite severe weather conditions, uh, can sustain wind blow up to uh, 200 kilometers per hour and can operate uh, within minus 40 to 70 degrees Celsius. Here we have the light beam antenna feed. It's a strong 23 dBi antenna. It has a reset button placed over here. Here you plug in the Ethernet cable and here you can find the standard QR code that you would use to set up uh, the device uh, by Ubiquiti mobile app. The antenna comes with the version 8 of the Ubiquiti Air OS. One of its main features is uh, for it to allow the antenna to be set up by a mobile app. It greatly helps uh, with uh, the initial setup of the device as well as accessing report and diagnostic tools. The new version of the software has also other improvements. Among other things, the ability to establish the connection strength between the two devices depending on uh, their distance as well as it, uh, assuming an appropriate frequency uh, based on its location. The device's frequency bandwidth is 80 MHz for a point-to-point -point connection and 40 MHz for a multi-point connection, which allows for a 450 megabit throughout. It's a very durable device, which provides good quality while still remaining affordable. It's ideal to be used for small point-to-point -point installations or as a signal receiver from an internet provider. Now we can move on to the Nanobeam. And so let's have a look at the contents of the Nanobeam box. Surprisingly, a quick start guide. The Nanobeam itself, the elements of the pole mount, the PoE injector, 24 volts, and the standard C5 cable. The Nano Beam feature-wise is basically the same as the Light Beam. Uh, the only difference is that it establishes a connection for a shorter range. Uh, on the back side of the device, you can see it also has a level, uh, which allows you to set it up on straight. Um, it comes with a one gigabit Ethernet port, the same QR code for the mobile app and the reset button. What's also worth noticing is that um, even though the pole mount is actually quite smaller, it's also quite functional in regards to the angle that you can set it up. Uh, they provide it with a pretty good ball joint, which you can just assemble very easily, screw it on here, and just like that, you can set it up in any angle you want. This concludes our product presentation. If you wish to know more about Ubiquiti products, please contact us at info at synetic.com.